Hey, what is going on, good people? And welcome back to another episode of the Side Quest Sundays. So, of course, Final Fantasy IX is over and done with, and we have moved on to Chrono Trigger. <clears throat> so, I've done a tiny grind. Let's see what happens. Okay, so this is roughly where we left it last time. I think we went for about 30, 40 minutes, but I actually wanted to go back and get that sword. Um, but I was hella juiced that first episode, so I ended up grinding for a bit and then just falling asleep for like three or four hours. So ignored it at actually 6.33, is it? Yeah, so this will be what we use, but shave about three or four hours off this for the actual grind. Boom. Okay, I, I think we went around all the houses, so we'll just carry on with the progression. <clears throat> right, so before we have a look at what happens, um, I never want to ring this bell ever again. So what was it? you got to ring it ten times to get 50 quid, and we've got five and a half grand. Boom. Now, while I was looking around the town, after that episode, I'm not sure if we saw it here, but this Tent of Horrors thing. So I had a look in here, and um, <clears throat> it's something like it's got three layers, three tiers of minigames for the points you get from certain minigames, like the Bell one. And... Um, yeah, so I just had a quick look in between episodes of, you know, what does that do? And I got a horrific spoiler. But the spoiler was good in a way that I actually, we actually really need one of the items from that tent. Um, do not look up what I'm saying or you will receive the massive spoiler as well. So yeah, heads up on that. But, if you do the third tier of the minigame, you can win a cat for your house, which is a bit weird, but I didn't bother with that. But we got the item, the second tier item, that we unfortunately need, so I did a grind for an extra 40 points, unfortunately. But, let's start cashing in. So, I figured we may as well buy equipment for everyone as well. So, if we've got three characters, we want three of them. Three of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, was it this guy? Sure. And then we want to get this. Yeah, baby. I live on a continent to the east. Come and see me sometime. By the way, could you talk that young lady into selling her pendant? Um, I'm going to say no. Right, so now we need to equip stuff. BT, how you doing, girl? Right, so take that and that, and then more bow. You can have that as well. And then, why have you got a wooden sword, you bell end? Nice. And actually, we may want to. Hmm. Oh, there's no way to, like, unequip an accessory. Damn, I wanted to take the ribbon off her. I'm not sure what it would be like in this game, but in most of the Final Fantasies, ribbon is one of the strongest accessories you can get. It usually makes you immune to every, if not almost every, status effect in the game. Which, uh, is hype, so... Shit. Okay, well, we're OP enough, but let's get a quick save on. We will have to do that cutscene again, but what happens if we do say yes? Boom. And then we are heading straight for the land of progression, don't worry guys. Even though this is side quest Sundays, we got to get a move on. So, no thanks. I'll try. Oh, she just says no. Nice. Oh my, it's the pendant. Uh, sorry, I can't buy that. It's far too special. Keep it safe. 
Okay, sure. Now, I think there were a load of people over here we didn't talk to. Oh yeah, this gimmick. What's this? Oh, yo. Prehistoric dance. Jurassic rhythm. Uh, sure. That's a banging tune. Right, guys. I only tried this once. I think I've got to four, if not five. So let's see what we can do. It's a soda guzzling contest. Press the A button as fast as you can. Okay, ready, set, go. Come on. Go, 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 go. Keep going. Ah, five. Is that the best you can do? Shit. Damn, I wonder what, wonder what you get for all eight. Hold your horses, I want to get some candy. Uh, okay. Oh, right. Give me just a second. Hi, I'd like some of this. Oh yeah, we can just mash through this, right? Thanks for waiting. I hate fairs. Do you know the latest gossip? No. Just between us, I heard the king is distressed over his tomboy of a daughter. Just once I'd like to see how wild she really is. Uh, okay. So this is like Fino's dad or whatever, right? Step right on up, any of you who have the time and the courage. Our super dimension warp is the invention of the century. To use it, jump up here. And you'll get teleported here. It's the masterwork of my beautiful daughter, Fino. Oh man, drunken names. Okay. Uh, sure. Morbo, where have you been? No one wants to try to teleport. How about you? It looks like fun. I'll watch while you try out. Just hop into the left pod. Just like Bill in Pokemon. Nice. All systems on. Don't start smashing it with a hammer. Begin energy transfer. Hi guys, so I saw... Oh wow, that was great. I suppose we should be doing longer episodes now we're back to full-fledged side quest Sundays. What a kick. I want to try it too. Huh? Hey Morbo, how did you pick up a cutie like her? Hang on Morbo, I'll be right there. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, as this vision of loveliness steps aboard the machine. Don't go away, I'll be right back. You're sure about this? There's still time to change your mind. No way, throw the switch. Oh man, if only she knew. Okay, everyone, let's give her a great big hand when she reappears. So what is this pendant that's caused some crazy time rift? All systems are on. Begin energy transfer. It begins. What's happening? My pendant, it's... Huh? <laughs> so yeah, not much memory of um, this game. Apart from the vague point of where I stopped playing. The only thing is, as soon as I saw that spoiler, I immediately remembered. Which was nice that I had forgotten the horrible spoiler, but um, yeah. That is a shame to get twist. Fino, where is she? Show's over, folks. Let's head along now. What's going on, Fino? Oh, mash too hard there. My bad. The way she disappeared, it couldn't have been the telepod. The warp field seemed to be affected by her pendant. What are we going to do now? She's so familiar, I know I've seen her somewhere. Hmm. Okay. Morbo! You're actually going to do it? What a fine lad. Listen, I don't know where this machine is going to send you. But we haven't any other choice. Won't they both be lost? This is our only hope. That pendant seems to be the key, so hang on to it, Morbo, and brace yourself. All systems on. 
Wait, I thought we weren't on our own. Begin energy transfer. Power to full. Roger. More, give me more power. Roger. There, we did it. Yeah, guys, you'll have to let me know if you want um, me to put much effort into the voices for this playthrough. <coughs> Try to make a decent effort for the old Great Ace Attorney Chronicles and Final Fantasy IX, which made it extra enjoyable, i got to say. I'll follow you after I know what went wrong. Good luck. Okay, so we're on our own for now. Shit, so I rang that bell like an extra however many times for that 500 quid. That's a shame. But I guess whenever we meet up with Fino, we can just equip her. Providing she can wear that armour. Although it's the most basic armour. Fingers crossed. Okay. Nice. So guys, I usually edit out battles that we've done before. Nice, what a kill. Don't know if that was the same before. Don't kick me in the ass. Get him. Um, oh yeah. I should probably check the techniques actually. Not that we need it if we're just doing one hit kills. 6 XP, 3 tech, 36 quid. Yeah, guys. Um, so, Cyclone, spin cut nearby enemies. So, we could have fought that big robot, which gave us 15 points, but from what I recall, the robot gives you some sort of XP, and I didn't want to get OP in that way. I just thought it would be cool to start the game with a pretty OP looking weapon. So, just regular abilities for now. Okay, the adventure begins. So yeah, I imagine after a few battles, most of the battles here will be getting edited out, just like in FF9 and Pokemon. But um, yeah, let me know if you want battles left in. I think this game is like a third of the length of FF9 on how long to be. Hey, let's try Cyclone. What? And what, have we not learned it yet? That's weird. Damn, look at that crit. You should not be doing 72 damage at the start of the game. Four XP, two tank, 24. Ah, Cyclone learned. Nice. Also, how long is this sword actually going to last? I mean, if it only lasts until the next area, that is pretty bollocks. Load Swords are dirt name. One Tonic. Oh yeah, we could have actually ground out a bit more money to get a few more Tonics or something, but... Meh, yeah, if we're this OP, then we shouldn't really be dying much. Power Glove? Power plus two. Speed plus one. <coughs> Hmm, power would make us a lot more OP. Just because that's going to be... Yeah, because that's like power combined of the weapon strength. Hmm. Being faster is nice though. Hmm. I was going to say, we could put it on before a boss, but I don't really remember this game. Let's just leave it on speed for now. What was that? Oh, yeah. Cyclone, let's do it. Quickly. Will it get all three? Nice. Should be a party sweep, right? Look at that. Seven. Three. Mm. 
Hell yeah. Okay, it's all going good so far. So I'll, I'll leave all of those in. Well, they were all quite different battles, but they were scripted battles as well, which I don't mind. So what is this? Residence. A millennial fair here? What are you talking about? It's the year 600 and the 21st king of Garda Guardia reigns. The year 600? Wow. We've been at war for years. When will it end? Um, mark it, okay. You're going to fight Magus's army? Wonderful, but remember to equip yourself with the weapons you buy. No window shoppers, what do you want? A dart gun. Eight hundred? Wait, can we sell stuff? Oh no, we don't want to sell that. Yeah, that's it. And I think we can sell a wood sword. Still can't afford a dart gun. I don't know who that's for. It looks like it might be for old BT, but we don't have her yet. So, best not worry, I guess. Thanks, see ya. Hey, the inn. Wait, I should probably have the notes page up anyway, just in case we see another black box, but that rings a bell. Yeah, true sin. So we must have gone back in time if it's the year 600. What a relief, they finally found Queen Lean wandering up in the mountains. She must be glad to be home. Magus' army destroyed Zenan Bridge, so the South Continent is inaccessible. Oh yeah, well, we could walk across the bridge in the future from what I recall. I think I'll walk across it and Ember's like, nah, this feels like the wrong way. Everyone was worried, the king freaked when the queen took off. Before Magus had grabbed her, thank goodness she's safe. Millennial Fair, what? Are you crazy? What nonsense? Where am I? Are you stupid? This is the Kingdom of Guardia. We're battling Magus's army. You did know that, right? Um, No. Lovely. We need more ignorant strangers around here. That'll be ten gil. Nope. Not for you, sucker. Oh, yo. Oh man, so... How is this gonna work? I guess I'm gonna have to separate it by time. So, I don't know what year that is. And then what did it say? 600 AD, I believe. Better do a separate heading for that. Quickly, damn it. Oh yeah, just copy and paste that. There we are. Select. Copy. Boom. There we go. Back to the action. Oh, actually. Nope. Uh, okay, so I guess we're going to meet someone back in the past. Uh, we should definitely do some sort of safety save here. Oh, actually, presents. Middle Ages. Okay, so at least I can sort of top up the heading for that quickly. It's not a year, but presents should be enough of an indicator, hopefully. Shit. Ah, well. Um, I don't think we've looked everywhere, have we? Residence. I'm Banter the Blacksmith. I'm forging a bell for the king to present to his beloved Queen Lean. 
I lost it when the Queen disappeared. I just couldn't keep working on the bell, but now it's back to business as usual. Is this the bell where we bumped into what's her face BT and found the pendant? My husband wants a daughter who is as intelligent as she is beautiful. Sure. Uh, no point in going to the bridge, I guess. Cathedral. We want nothing but world peace, or a piece of the world. You might like to stick around for the organ recital, it's a real killer. People wouldn't know what to do with themselves in the truly peaceful world. My, what delicious, uh, I mean delightful looking humans. Oh dear, it looks like you could use some food and a place to rest. Okay, this looks a bit sus. Suppose we'll leave. I guess it's not time. Um, right, are we supposed to be in here? Uh oh. Maybe not. Shit, we only got two. Quick! Roll it. Oh, level up. Go on. Yo, what's this? Power tab. What's that? Increased strength. Yeah, thought so. No! You fuckers. probably save the Cyclones for now. Oh yeah, it is one hit kills, so no need to worry too much. This is why we pick speed over power. I, I kind of get a feeling I might level up ridiculously quick though. Um, okay, we'll just try and slowly sweep our way up. Birds! Right, definitely Cyclone. Oh no, we should have done the other one. There's a waste of MP there. Yeah, that's big dumb. Okay. Okay, we're taking a fair bit of damage even with the upgraded armor. I'm just really hoping we didn't somehow miss a house and we're in here on our own when we were supposed to meet someone. One times heal, what is that? Status, okay. Pendants. Hmm. 50 HP. We should probably use one, just in case. Mm. Actually, that's, I'm not sure how you run for battles. So we may have to actually block for once. Uh, I don't like that. Shit! Get him! Hopefully we can get another attack in before one of them does. That would have been a good time to cyclone, actually. But there. Quick! Seven! My god. Well, I suppose we're only level two, right? Ah, I got the tonic back. Very helpful. Yeah, so I shouldn't... I shouldn't worry about levelling up too much when it's just us, because we need that defence. Now, this power tab, I suppose we could use it on the main character, right? You would imagine Morbo is the main character, just because that was initially Chrono, and the game's Chrono Trigger. Yeah. Happy of that. 
Oh, I fell for it. Why is rustling always bad? Okay, starting with an attack is perfect. We may get out of this unscathed if we're lucky. Mm. I like that a lot. Level up. Oh yeah, we haven't actually... Stereo's fine. Wait. Ah, oh, we can actually leave it on wait. I'm liking it for now. Save menu cursor, I think, would be nice. Uh, actually, not the menu cursor, but battle cursor could be nice. Save skill item cursor, sure. What does that mean? Ah, mm. oh, that's quite nice. Go on, FF9 memories. Battle speed. Battle message speed. Now that should be fine. Yeah, happy with that. 68 points! Whoa. Triple tech. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, what's his defense? Is there a way to see? Not massive. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, we got no defense. I guess it's just going to be evade. Oh, no, top left. So 29. Cool. Oh. Oh, yo, what's over here? The thing! Um, right, I think this is like Guardia Forest, right? The worst thing is, guys, we could have potentially made it through here without that potion, I've just realised. Or tonic, I should say. quickly stick that in. So yeah, I've no idea what opens these black boxes, but we may as well make a note now. Okay. Clean sweep. Got here, castle, forest. Yeah, called it. Halt, who goes there? Check out that hair. Where are you from, son? Are you one of Magus's troopers? Hardly, this kid would never have made the cut. Show us your stamp collection, son. Ha <laughs> ha, now beat it, shrimp. Stop that at once. Queen Lean. Okay, the Queen's getting involved. Show your manners, this is a friend of mine. But there's something odd about him. You refuse to obey my orders. Forgive me, my lady. Please enter, sir. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, is... I'm gonna guess that's BT. Okay, is it worth having a look around now? Probably not. Who's that? Sir, I understand that you were the one who saved my dear wife, the Queen. But can you tell me what happened? Lee's acting rather odd. And she seems to have lost her coral pin, which is something she guarded with her life. Forgive me, you must be tired. We can talk about this later. Please rest in the knight's quarters downstairs to the left. Okay, but where is she? Okay, nothing here. Hmm, may as well have a quick butchers. What is all this? The queen awaits. Nice. This. The Queen married into the family ten years ago. She still looks so youthful. In fact, she looks even younger now than on her wedding day. You save our Queen, you don't look that tough. Ah, there you are. Please leave us, I need to talk to this individual. Certainly, Highness. Right, guys, let's uh, 
sit down, get the knife and fork out for a tasty bit of plot, I think, and then we'll leave it there at some point whenever we head out of the castle. Although we'll probably save it on the other side of the forest, realistically, just so we don't have to do that grind next time. Come nearer, sir. Hee <laughs> hee. Fooled you, didn't I, Morbo? Yo, it is BE. It's me, but everyone calls me Lean. I'm so relieved you're here. We barely know each other, but somehow I knew you'd come for me. Nice. Good mates already. Thank you, Morbo. Uh-oh. Something's wrong. Hmm? What's happening? It feels like I'm being torn apart. Is this because of the pendant? Help me, Morbo. I'm scared. Please help me. What? Okay, she teleported? Or maybe she went back to the present day, I, I guess. Okay, let's go. Hmm? Has she dismissed you already? You were polite, of course. Oh, no. You didn't do anything funny, did you? Of course not. Are you sure? We better get out of here quickly. Oh, maybe we should have rested up. This is bad. Morbo. Hey, it's Vino. <laughs> You're okay. Did you find a girl? Gone. What do you mean she's gone? Hmm, it's just as I thought. I knew I recognised her. And this looks identical to the castle in our time. I'll bet they must have cat girl for her ancestor. You see, she's a member of the royal family in our time. She's Princess Nadia. Okay. And we just called her BT. Okay. BT, that is Princess Nadia, is a descendant of Queen Ling. Okay. Generations. 600 AD though, that's a way down the family line, I'd imagine. Queen Lean has been kidnapped. As I recall, someone was supposed to have saved her, but history has been changed. Okay, BT looks so much like Lean that they probably called off her search when they appeared there. But if the real Queen is killed... Oh yeah, that makes sense. No, you blue imp bastard. B2 will simply disappear, there might still be time. Oh shit, I didn't read that. If we have time, we can catch her or something like that. Something must have happened to the queen in this era. As a result, Princess Nadia ceases to exist. Hurry, we have to find a real queen. Ah, nice. So then we will... Shows enemy HP. Mm, nah, we don't really need that for now. So she's got a bit more power now, which is nice. And how much money have we got? Ah, we've nearly got enough of the dart gun, which is hype. The queen seems to be waiting you upstairs in her room. Right. Talk to the king on the way out, I guess. I think we could also... Yeah, while we're here. I think I didn't see that. 100 quid. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Okay. And what's that going to be? Guardia Castle, right? Guardia Castle. I suppose it'll be top left behind King. Tasty. Let's go. Right, guys, place your bets now. What is the hour going to be on the old in-game timer when we get whatever the gimmick is that opens these black boxes? I am going to say... 17. Why not? 
so 10 hours from now. Get a little rest on. Uh, Zayhan Bridge is our last line of defence, we must guard it with our lives. So you're the one who helped the Queen talk to the maid if you need to rest. Majesty's Duke just strangely quiet, something's about to happen. Take us news? Yep. Right, I kind of get the feeling we should talk to the King. That could either go horribly wrong, or he may actually give us some items to help with the quest. Give it a go. Ah, okay, see you later. Nice. Boom. Now, can you change party order? I don't believe so. She comes in at level 2, which is quite nice. Okay, let's just run back through. Okay, Cyclone may be perfect here. Nice, that's all three of them. I'm hoping Fino gets XP, even though she hasn't actually done an attack. 15, 6. Maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Flames Hulse, she needs four. Okay, I'm gonna guess dual tech is when you've got two people, but it could be dual wielding. You never know. Oh shit, the birds! Right, we definitely want the side flag against those two. Nice! Mm, perfect. Nine. Go on, Fino. Where's your level up? Sixteen. Nice. Went too far right. Ah. It's tricky though, if we keep cycloning, we're gonna be all out of MP again. Hmm. 10 3. Flame toss. Dual tag fire world, go on. I love that. Right, tech. Hit all enemies on the line, put enemies to sleep. Yo. Flame world attack. Okay. Right, now she should be almost leveled up, so we may as well, right? Yeah, guys, one more battle, then we'll buy the dark gun. Nice. And then V will leave it there. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, just attacks. That should be more than enough. She may not kill here. Yeah, that looks like a tougher enemy. So Morbo can finish the job. Mm, nice. Go on, Fino. Okay, so we're both level three. Yeah. Both got a nice dual tech move and a technique. More bow sculpted, Giga Sword, uh, Mark it, that's what we want. Dart Gun is perfect. And then we equip. Nice, may as well sell the others. Don't say thanks. I'm not done. Yeah, we can sell the air gun. Nice. Thanks. See ya. Um, right, we may have to go to this dodgy cathedral by the looks of it, unless it's the bridge to the south. No, it's definitely not there. Um, ah, no MP. I suppose we can worry about our next time, right? Yeah. Cool. So... The Queen is gone. Boom. Right then, guys. We will leave it there for this episode. So, slightly longer episode than before, just because we want to chug through this. And we'll see if we're going the right way next time. 
Um, I almost forgot I have spent a lot of time, money and politics trying to enlist the help of our brand new mascot for the channel called Morbiduck, the mighty mallard himself. So say hello if you see him, and he may be popping up in future videos all around the channel, so keep your eyes peeled. Um, but yeah, that is it for this episode. So if you like the looks of any of the suggested videos flooding the screen at this very second, check some of them out, and more importantly, let me know what you thought. Um, yeah, if you missed last episode, catch up. And of course, if you're into this, we've got Parasite Eve, Pokemons, and Final Fantasy IX on the channel for you to steam through. But the main thing is, guys, as always, I hope you're well. Thanks for watching, and see you again next Sunday for another side quest. <laughs>